Hi everyone, thanks for watching. This is AMRC and I'm Alex. Today I'll be flying my UMX Turbo Timber. Realized I've been mostly flying this at night since I've added lights to it. It's such a cool, uh, relaxing plane, very capable. So I'll give it a go during day this time. Let's nice. go, let's go. Take off flaps. Not that it needs it, but... A bit too confident there. Seems to be fine. Everything works, just the canopy popped off. It's a tough little plane. Let me check the motor. Still rips. Okay. Sorry about that, canopy still in one piece. Tail surface is good. I was just about to say what a relaxing plane this is. It can be, I just got a little too low. And I think a gust of wind also took me by surprise. Also came pretty close to me. But yeah, these things happen. And that's what I like about these little UMX planes. They're pretty tough. They don't weigh that much, so... They can take uh, crash pretty decently. I've crashed this several times. I only broke the nose once. And yeah, it's a do-it-all plane. I think if I would have to choose only having one plane, this would probably be it. Be it. Better stay away from those power lines. I know the UMX Timber X can do more. It's more acrobatic, has more power, but it's not as relaxing to fly. That keeps you on your toes. This is a lot more relaxing. And from what I saw online on Facebook, uh, there was someone in a Facebook group asking between the UMX Turbo Timber and Timber X and Jason Merkel from Horizon Hobby hinted that he should wait on the Turbo Timber for a few weeks so I guess probably maybe this week we'll get a new version of this my guess is we'll have a uh, S power system, like most of the recent UMX planes. And I think I also read something about uh, ball links on the control horns. That would be a nice upgrade. Haven't had any problems with mine, but. And you have to improve it somehow if they're going to release a new version. So that would be a good addition besides the power system. Let me know what you think. Would you get one? Especially if you already have a UMX Turbo Timber. Now I'm thinking I probably won't. Unless I really damage this beyond repair. Because I do have the UMX Timber X for 3S and more fun. But yeah, 
if anyone wants to get into flying or just get a everyday plane I highly recommend even this version my opinion it's one of the best UMX planes bit windy, I think it can take but let's toss it around. I'm so used to flying this at night. I have my screen set up for this model with dark colors so you can really see it in the daylight. So I'll have one minute on the timer and then I can go a lot more. Yeah, it's not a 3D plane and I'm by no means a 3D pilot. It's it's like the Swiss Army knife of a few MX planes. It can do a bit of everything. Flaps, Not the flap runs like the UMX Timurex. So what would you improve on this model if you could? Maybe better hinging. I think I've had to rehinge the rudder. It's uh, broke off. But other than that, it's, it's a great plane. all day long. And the wind's picking up a bit. Okay, let me make sure no cars are coming and we'll bring it in for a landing. Another cool thing is you don't really need runway for this. You can always hand launch it. takes off on a dime. Half flaps or full flaps, especially if you have a bit of headwind. Half flaps. There we go guys. Oh. Wind's pushing it a bit away. Yeah, I have to go get it. So, let me know what you think of this version, if you would get the new version, when this gets, oh, it does get announced. So, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to leave some great comments, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, bye.